Welcome to 2019. It's my first hunt. I'm out and uh, I'm here uh, approximately one hour and I did find one button. That's all. But um, now I found something which is which I never found before. Look at that. It's a huge huge piece of Atler, I think it's called. Wow, what a what a find. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it was a, a 12 ender. If he had a symmetric one. This is what every hunter dreams of, I guess. Shooting one with uh, those. Yeah, that's an extraordinary find. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I certainly take it. Yeah, nice one. Moving on. I found something beautiful. It's a little bit devastated but that is I know what that is this is a shoulder t shoulder title or a label title of a Russian Soviet transport soldier I once visited their barracks perhaps I can find a picture I would show it right now There are wings, there are uh, tires and axle and the steering wheel. Uh, so it's obvious. All right, that's nice. Moving on. I found a nice relic. This is an old oil bottle and this is some kind of a gun tool. I think it's for the car 98 but I'm not sure and this for sure there is oil in it gun oil. I'm not trying to open it here I clean it at home and usually this is rusted because it's just tin bottle. Uh, it certainly smells like it um, I don't know why they have two lids, but I'm gonna figure it out. This is a nice one. I found those two or three times before and they crumbled in my hand. Uh, yeah, so this is the first one which is, which seems to be intact and it was wrapped in cloth. And there is, oh, there's still, there's another lid of some sort and here is the cloth it's oil cloth certainly here interesting 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 don't know for which gun that is but it's surely gun maintenance part parts so moving on I guess This is kind of, not funny, but interesting. I found a piece of Soviet coal. Look at that. This is Cyrillic letters and pieces of a makeshift oven. So it has been cold in, but April wasn't cold. So it, they must have been here in March or February, which could be because I'm far away from Berlin again. It is possible, it is possible. 74 years now. Lying a piece of, this is brown coal, it's, it's war coal, so, so it's not the best quality. Oh. 
There's the other imprint, Zem Ness. I don't know, I don't know what that means. And oven number two. <laughs> All right, moving on. I changed spots because all I found was buttons, Soviet buttons. I don't mind finding them, but enough is enough. So now I'm on the new spot and it should have been a Reichsarbeitsdienstlager, a Reichslabor service. And the first thing I find is this. And this reminds me of a German Wehrmacht dog tag. So <laughs> I bet it is because we have two holes here and one hole here and there is the Bruchkante, the breaking point. But let's see if there's something on. Uh, not on this side unfortunately. But here it is. <laughs> It's just a number, I guess. If it's Reichsarbeitsdienst, there should be some RAD or something. So I'm gonna clean it and show you. So it is a dog tag for sure, but I'm not sure what kind of, is it Wehrmacht? I doubt it because it's just a number on here as far as I can read now and I won't uh, feel clean it anymore. Um, it could have been also, uh, POW's dog tag because at some point they were running out of the square ones and they were using the elliptical ones, so egg shaped ones. Nice find, yeehaw! Let's see what else there is to find. Moving on. Oh my god, this is a new hotspot. And I guess nobody has ever been here detecting because if you look at that, I started there. There I found the, the dog tag. Here I found 10 Reichspfennig. Here I found uh, some kind of uh, emergency money, 15 units. And here, I find a cigarette tip. Look at that. This is beautiful or it's a part of a pipe, I don't know. But it's not beautiful, but I guess it's handmade. So I clean it and show you. It's a part of a pipe and a damn ugly one, but it's kind of irregular if you touch it. It could be due to the age, but it could also be that it's it's handmade from, I don't know, this is see-through plexiglass and the others are, I don't know, some kind of plastic. Strange, but yeah, the depth and everything, it's, it's from the World War II time period, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, so hoo -hoo -hoo. let's see what else there is to find. I found a ring, an aluminium custom made ring, I guess it's a trench art ring. Uh, there was a some kind of a stone or something, something, two Ks, perhaps it was the third one and it's a KKK, but I don't think so. Sorry, now you can see it. Nice! I haven't moved four meters and it's my, I don't know, eighth target and the fourth uh, good object I find. Very promising. Moving on.
It looks like I found my first silver for today. Mm, no. Yes, no. I don't know. But this is a part of a... I guess it's a lighter. A more expensive one. And it's beautiful. I won't rub it. <laughs> it's silver painted, I guess. It came in with with 96, but let's check that. 84. No, it's definitely not silver. All right, but uh, beautiful one. I guess this camp. It was a labor camp, not a. Uh, I don't know. I guess it was used by the Soviet soldiers after the war because I found some watch parts. And I'm not sure if the Reichsarbeitsdienst tore up any watches and threw the parts all around. Uh, it's uh, too familiar a find, so I guess it was used by the Soviet soldiers as well. Well, and if you see that, all this, uh, that was a roof above it. I found, uh, I find um, a roof tarp, a lot of, and all the holes there have roof tarp. So I guess all those dips here had a roof, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, uh, one find after the other, woohoo, moving on. Whoa, I found loads of stuff, uh, which I was too busy not to film because I was in a rage. So now I calmed down a bit and I found that here. This looks like a parking lot sign. But I don't think it is, because it has a needle in the back and it's... <laughs> but it is, here the writing is Parkplatz, parking lot. <laughs> what the f... What the f? Parkplatz. But it's a, it's a pin. It's a parking lot pin. <laughs> And it's not NML, it's just painted, so... Uh, don't get it. All right, moving on. And here is the proof for my wild theory that it's not only been a... Uh, um, RAD camp, but also, or perhaps the POWs worked here because this is a POW stock tag and it's broken, so don't know if he died, but I could read it. It was Stalag 308, and the number is 04842. Amazing find. So I'm uh, I'm nervous. I have to go on moving on. I have a coin spill here. One, two, three, four, four, ten finish. One, one finish. Hitler and one five finish. One ten finish. Nineteen twenty four. And it's still going. There it is. And the next one is, and the next one is one finish. Yeah. Oh, that seems to have been it, huh? No. No, not yet. Another one, five finish. I can see the swastika. Yeah. Oh, 
what the it's wire then yeah and here we have something yeah another coin it's another ten finish yeah and was that it no there there's another one yeah one finish what the okay that seems to have been it so what do we have oh I lost them shit <laughs> Here they are. There it is. I threw them in another hole. Shut the... Oop. Oh, that has been it. For a handful of Nazi coins. Oh, almost. Yeah. Loving it. Moving on. And again. Wait a second. It's so amazing. Just in in that row from the start, uh, which is here, to here, I found uh, a coin spill. Uh, wait, some. I guess six other coins, all Zinkers, all Nazi money, and three uh, gold gilded Kriegs, Kriegsmarine buttons. They come in with 95, which and they, say they sound like a five mark coin, so <laughs> I dug them. And I like them. And now I found another POW dog tag, which is not broken but intact. So let's see from which Starlock it was issued. This side, no, I don't know. There's no need to not scratch it. So um, I'm losing light actually. Wait a second. I'll try to care about that so here we go is it a blank one I never found a blank one so far okay um, I'll clean it and show you it's already dark now uh, and I found a bell and it's a quite big one compared to my hand. Yeah, love it. Brass bell, a little bit crooked and you know, dented, but hey, it's a bell. Love it, moving on.